วัสดีค่ะ Hi everyone, welcome back to Sa Thai Cuisine. And today, I would like to show you another favorite recipe Thai street food called Khao Man Gai. You might know as Thai chicken rice. The traditional of this recipe was created by immigrants from Hainan in southern China. In China, they call this recipe is Hainanese chicken rice. Hainanese chicken rice is a portion of chicken and seasoned rice served with chili salt and some cucumber. Almost every country in Asia we have version of chicken rice because immigration from China they go everywhere. Like in Singapore and Malaysia, they call this recipe Hainan chicken rice. In Vietnam, they call Hainan chicken rice. But in Thailand, we rename this recipe called Khao Man Gai. Khao Man Gai means rice cooked with chicken fat. I know, it sounds weird, right? The traditional of this recipe, they will cook the whole chicken in a pot and make soup from that. But for me, I adapt the recipe because I want to make it easy and I kind of don't like a uh, boiled chicken. That's why I will make this recipe totally different but amazing and awesome. If you want to try out this recipe, let's jump to the ingredients. I will start with make soup because it takes time and today I don't have a homemade chicken stock. I don't have time to do that. That's why today I will use the chicken stock I bought from the supermarket. This brand I like to use because they no salt as and they is quite good. And I would like to have some vegetable in my soup. Today I will use radish because in Thailand we like to serve Ladish soup with chicken rice But if you cannot find ladish, it's fine You can put onion or carrot Whatever you like to put in your soup That's all good For make soup, you just pour some uh, chicken stock in the pot And let it boil And then you put the vegetable in the pot And let it cook slowly Until the vegetable is soft Like I said earlier, the traditional of this recipe, they boil the chicken But my personal, I don't like the taste of boiled chicken That's why today I will bake the chicken in the oven And I love the taste of the skin when it's crispy That's why today I use bone-in skin on chicken thigh For all of my recipe, I like to clean all the meat I cook, I mean, doesn't no matter chicken, beef, pork, I clean it out. I think it's a good idea to clean some dry blood from the supermarket, you know. Some people, they might don't do that, but for me, I like to do that. So, I will clean the chicken and then dry it out with paper towel. Just make sure you dry it out really well. After that, we will marinate the chicken with some salt and pepper on both sides. Wow, look at that! Crispy and golden brown color smells so good. Oh my goodness. Now it's time to make rice. Today I will use jasmine rice. If you have long grain rice, that's all good too. But I love the taste of jasmine rice. I will clean the jasmine rice until you see clear water and then gentle pour water out just be careful you don't lose all your rice in this process for the ginger today i will use about two inches 
but if you like ginger you can add more if you not quite like ginger that much like it's not your flavor you can add less just do whatever you like to do I will peel all the skin out and then I will cut into small pieces Let's start to make rice. I will put some oil in the pan and then follow with garlic. In this time, you don't need to wait until the oil is too hot because you're gonna burn garlic before you cook it. And then keep stirring it until garlic turns to a little bit brown color. Follow with rice. Time for ginger to go in. If it's too dry, you can add some chicken stock. Then keep stirring a little bit more. After that, we will transfer the rice from the pan to the rice cooker. Normally, when we make rice, you use normal water, but in this time, we will use chicken stock to cook the rice. And that's it. Now just let rice cooker do the job. Let's move to how to make sauce. The main ingredient is soybean paste. This brand is from Thailand. If you cannot find this brand, you can use Chinese brand also. Follow with sweet soy sauce. Mix everything together and then add some sugar, a little bit of water, Lamb Some chopped ginger That's it for the yummy sauce Let's put some coriander on top Perfect Thank you so much for watching my video If you have any question Please leave your question into the comment And don't forget to click subscribe Hit the bell And turn on notifications For you can learn more How to make easy and also delicious Thai food from your home and I will see you again for the next delicious Thai food goodbye